Hello everyone, I'm going to try once again to find you a few Maidan winners here on Gigi. It's actually the final Thursday night of the carnival after this. We've only got Super Saturday left before Dubai World Cup. I'll be back next week to preview uh, that one for you. That means our last chance uh, to get stuck into some handicaps. But before we get on to those, we'll talk about the three uh, pattern races on the card. And the official feature is the Group 3 Nadal Sheba Trophy. It's a prep for the Group 2 Dubai Gold Cup on World Cup night. And no surprises, good old Finn looked to have this uh, between them. Brundtland could well be the one here. Here for Charlie Appleby, who's talked about this horse in glowing terms over the last few months. We haven't yet seen him at the carnival, but even if this is a prep for the big night, which it undoubtedly is, he's so well treated here, carries just 55 kilos, actually gets weight off a few inferior rivals. Best of the rest, probably his stablemate Ispolini. The other big race on the turf is for the three-year-olds. It's the listed Maidan Classic. And there's a few I like in here. Irish Trilogy for Andrew Kidney has run a couple of really good races in defeat. And Golden Jaguar is undoubtedly smart. He's a massive horse. Should still be improving fitness-wise. And he was the winner of the prep for this last time. Has to go a bit further. That shouldn't be a problem, though. I think perhaps, though, good fortunes that the one to be on. Another one for Charlie Appleby. He went on the turf earlier on at the carnival. No reason why he shouldn't still be improving, having been smart in the UK. And I'll take him in that race. We've also got a listed handicap on the dirt. That's the curling. It should really be a World Cup prep. Nothing of that quality in here. But I will give you my best of the night here. Saltar in Dubai won this race last year. I think he could get an easy lead if Richie Mullins able to dictate things from the front. He should be very, very hard to pass in that curling race. That's not nearly as competitive as the mild dirt handicap. Really looking forward to this one. Mystique Moon is a horse that Doug Watson thinks an awful lot of. He won very well at Jebel Ali last time. But maybe if you're looking for a longer price one to put in here, it could be Pop the Hood, another one for Doug Watson. Overlooked by his jockeys, comes in a nice low weight for Royston French. And he has won over this trip in America, being campaigned at sprint distances sat here in Dubai so far. But he chased a really strong pace last time behind Lava Spin. And I think he might just offer a little bit of value in that race. There's a couple of uh, very difficult handicaps to uh, end things off. The uh, the seven furlong race could well go to Charlie Appleby again. On the warpath, isn't the most straightforward of horses, but he has run two really game races in defeat. I quite like him in race six. And in the final ten furlong event, again, looks tricky. Which Godolphin horse uh, do you go for? That said, I quite like Eshterak for his Highness Sheikh Hamdan, who's run uh, a couple of really good races. He also goes in that seven furlong race. But in the, in the final race on the card. I've gone for Desert Fire, got the headgear on, ran up against the stable mate, ran well last time out. Maybe he could be the one there. We start with a pure red Arabian race. Uh, difficult to know which one to go for, but Maya ran a really good race last time at Sharjah. Maybe that one could offer a little bit of value there.